NVIDIA and AMD cannot ship some high-end GPU chips under US regulations, and ASML's high-end EUV lithography machines cannot be shipped normally. These rules have led to the fact that mainland China cannot independently manufacture high-end chips, and the technologies currently mastered are concentrated in mature processes, such as 14 nanometers and 28 nanometers. So how long does it take for China to make high-end chips? What conditions are needed to produce high-end chips? Humans have been exploring chips for half a century. American Jack Kilby engineer invented the world's first chip, and Gordon Moore founded Intel Corporation, which created the world's first general-purpose processor 4004 in 1971. From then on pushes human civilization to the computer age. The Moore's Law proposed by Gordon Moore also continues to guide the development of the chip industry and guide the way forward. It is not difficult to find that the United States has made many pioneering breakthroughs in the chip industry, and giants such as Intel and Texas Instruments are promoting the continuous development of chip manufacturing technology. Because of this, the United States has mastered a large number of chip core patents, from materials to EDA software, to large and small industrial chain segments, almost all of which can find American technology. Although the United States has laid a theoretical and practical foundation for the chip industry, the U.S. chip manufacturing industry has continued to decline over the past decade, and most American companies have concentrated in the field of chip design, ignoring the development of manufacturing. As a result, the United States now has a great dependence on Asian chip manufacturing plants, and nearly 90% of the chips are imported by OEMs. Now the United States intends to change the status quo and enhance the strength of localization of chip manufacturing. However, the United States does not play cards according to common sense and focuses more on restricting the development of competitors and using technological advantages to undermine the globalization of chips. In this case, if you want to break the ice, you can only increase the strength of self-research and take the route of autonomy. In terms of process, the domestic lithography machine has achieved 90 nanometers manufacturing. The etching machine has completed the 5 nanometers process breakthrough, and the cleaning machine has completed the 28 nanometers verification and the ion implanter has also achieved a full-spectrum breakthrough at 28 nanometers. These are all independent processes at the level of the hardware industry chain. In terms of software, Huada Jiuqian participates in the research and development of EDA, mainly focusing on 28 nanometers. In terms of materials, NTU Optoelectronics, and Zuzhu Bokang have their own KRF and RF photoresist projects, which have either completed customer verification or mastered the localization technology of the entire industry chain. In general, domestic chips have a lot of independent layout, completing the diversification of the industrial chain. This can't help but make people curious. The low-end mature chips have already been produced domestically. How long will it take China to produce high-end chips? The Shanghai official has given the answer. According to Shanghai, the domestic 14 nanometers chip has achieved mass production, and the scale of Shanghai's integrated circuit industry has reached 250 billion yuan. 14 nanometers is a watershed, 14 nanometers is actually an advanced process, 22 nanometers 
and 28 nanometers are mature processes, and 7 nanometers below 14 nanometers will enter the ranks of high end processes. From 14 nanometers to 7 nanometers, there is not much distance. So, what are the conditions for producing high end chips? One of the conditions for the production of high end chips is an EUV lithography machine. By exposing the chip through the EUV lithography machine's extreme ultraviolet light source, better resolution and accuracy can be achieved, so that tens of billions of transistors can be integrated in a limited chip area. Quantity However, some people think that high-end chips can also be made with DUV lithography machines on the grounds that DUV lithography machines are used for multiple exposures. If it can be achieved, it is better to say, but for the sake of safety, EUV lithography machine is the main choice. In fact, in the process of moving forward, you can also make necessary layouts in other aspects and master more conditions for producing high-end chips. For example, talents, the industry chain maintain a consistent production level, and there are a large number of independent core technology accumulation, and so on. High-end chips still have a long way to go. The current strategy of the market is to bet on mature chips first, take advantage of production capacity and technology, and accumulate more revenue so as to ensure future R&D investment and talent training. When the time is right, the domestic supply chain has solved a series of problems, and I believe it will usher in the expected breakthrough. At the same time, can Huawei solve the chip supply problem? Huawei's strategy has never changed, insisting on independent research and development, and building a country with technology. After solving the supply problem of chips, Huawei began to plan the high-end packaging technology of chips. The exposure of the patent for the chip overlap technology also proves that Huawei is solving the performance and power consumption problems of the chip through the design and reconstruction of the chip. At Huawei's 2021 performance conference, Guoping also clearly announced that Huawei will adopt a multi-core design and superimpose chips. By expanding the scale of production, it will improve the market competitiveness of its products. According to the existing domestic industrial base, by 2023, the process technology above 28 nanometers will be mass produced in China. At that time, in addition to smartphones, Huawei can also mass produce chips. Therefore, when Yu Chengdong talked about chips, he once said, by 2023, Huawei will rise again. What do you think about this? Feel free to share in the comments below.